Hello YouTube, my name is Nero. Today we have some more Call of Duty World War II multiplayer. Check out this game, ladies and gentlemen. I haven't seen some World War II multiplayer footage pretty much since E3. I watched pretty much everything that came out of E3. But to go back and look at some footage here, this game looks freaking incredible. I cannot wait to play the beta. As a YouTuber, I'm going to be playing everything from the PlayStation 4 beta to the Xbox One beta to the PC beta. Playing it on all platforms, playing it as much as humanly possible. Very freaking excited, but I'm a bit worried and perhaps rightly so about the customization of Call of Duty World War 2. It has begun. They have revealed to us our first animated camo for Call of Duty World War 2, which I briefly discussed in yesterday's video where I was covering all the Nazi zombies news and information. And I said we would discuss this camo in a future video. Well, here we are. Here's that future video. I think it's definitely important to discuss this camo as well as customization within the Call of Duty World War 2 multiplayer. Now, that camo you get for pre-ordering. It's going to be a zombies camo, but it has people wondering, are they going to have animated camos within the game's multiplayer. Michael Condry took the to Twitter to reply to a fan, letting us know that animated camos will be exclusive to zombies, which I think is fantastic news, to be quite perfectly honest, because we did have the AMA back in the day. This was, I say back in the day, it wasn't really all that long ago, but we had that AMA where Sledgehammer Games announced that historical grounding of weapons and uniforms is important to delivering on the immersive feel of World War II at launch which why did they specify at launch right here it's definitely a bit concerning if you ask me it has a lot of people like myself wondering are they going to go crazy with the camos and dlc and microtransactions after the game comes out because we do know for a fact that supply drops are going to be a core feature of the call of duty world war ii multiplayer experience but it appears that the camos in the game are not going to be animated and according to this tweet right here they are going to be cool but also thematically appropriate this is very interesting because call of duty World War II is not only the first Call of Duty game to take us back to World War II in nearly a decade, it's also going to be the first World War II Call of Duty game to have customization and camos. For those that don't know, camos became a feature in Call of Duty during Call of Duty 4, and then of course after that we had World at War, but World at War scrapped the camos to instead have the Gib system. Remember back in the day, you couldn't actually just have everything in your game, they had very limited hardware, and they really had to pick and choose as to what was actually going to be in their game, even though World at War came out after COD 4, no camos, no World War 2 Call of Duty game has ever had camos, so I'm worried that that this game may go over the top. Keep in mind, Advanced Warfare is Sledgehammer's only game prior to this that they ever solo developed, and that game was chock full of crazy camos and supply drop DLC and stuff like that. So I have to wonder, what is this game going to be like? We've already gotten a taste of an animated camo via the Nazi Zombies camo, and then of course, also for pre-ordering, you will get the Divisions pack, and we have these guys right here, which I'm sure you guys have seen a couple of times by now, and I've said it before and I'll say it again, these outfits are pretty flamboyant for World War II, if you ask me. When I picture World War II, and this is purely subjective here, when I picture World War II, I picture earth tones, right? Black, brown, grays, dark colors, maybe greens and stuff like that. Your earth tones, your dark earth tones. And, of course, here we see some yellows and some blues and some red and stuff like that. And I'm worried that the game's multiplayer is going to be very bright and off-putting to an extent. I mean, I think I'm looking at it through rose tinted glasses. Like, I want this game to be the same thematically as it was back in World at war where it was like pretty gritty and people were exploding and it was like a it was a hardcore call of duty game it was pretty intense when you were actually playing i'm worried that the game itself is going to have you know people running around with flamboyant camos and flamboyant uniforms and outfits and stuff like that and it's going to take you out of the experience they've shown us a lot so far and i think that's pretty telling that they've given us this nazi zombies camo they've shown us the divisions pack like they're showing off a lot of customization which is questionable at best and the game itself hasn't even hit the beta stage like we haven't even played this game's beta, which no doubt camos actually... Maybe there is a little bit of doubt. Maybe camos won't be available during the private beta. I hope that they are so we can give feedback on them, right? Because remember the, the camos that we saw in Infinite Warfare, for example, they were terrible. Remember the Infinite Warfare beta camos? So freaking bad. Like they basically just, if you've like messed around with like your wallpapers on your computer, basically they took an image, hit tile, and then just that, that was the entire, that was the entire camo, right? It was so freaking bad. Then of course they updated it after the game had come out and the camos became a lot better, but still the camos were 
bad. So I feel as though if they are going to be giving us a beta for the game, we should be quote unquote beta testing every aspect of that game, at least in the multiplayer, right? We should have access to a lot of things, maybe not every single gun, maybe not every single map, because of course that would take away all the fun of actually getting the game at launch, but they should definitely give us a lot of things to test out and a lot of things to give feedback on. And I definitely think customization, personalization, and weapon camouflages should be a thing that the community should have at least some say in if they want to have this game try to be as thematically appropriate as humanly possible. So the floodgates have opened. People are starting to have a little bit of outcry about this animated camo. At least Michael Condry has come out to say that the animated camo is exclusive to zombies, but we've heard stuff like that in the past. Remember, cosmetic only? Apparently, supply drops in World War II will be cosmetic only, but time will tell if they actually stay true to that, if they actually stick to that statement. If history is an indicator, they probably won't. We're going to have to see how that plays out. But ladies and gentlemen, that's all I have for you guys here in this video. I just want to do a brief discussion on personalization here in Call of Duty World War II. I know when this was announced, for one reason or another, I think everybody was making videos about supply drops. And just looking across the board, nobody's COD World War II supply drops confirmed video really did all that well. So I want to make sure everybody's up to date and aware of what's actually happening, happening within Call of Duty World War II. We are going to be getting supply drops. They're going to contain weapon variants. These weapon variants are going to be COD cosmetic only which actually sounds awesome and apparently these supply drops themselves are going to be full of cosmetic only things but we're going to have to see they've lied about that in the past and then of course now we see this animated camo we've seen these very flamboyant uniforms for the divisions pack i'm a bit worried and i would love to hear what you guys think down there in the comment section below thank you guys all so much for watching let me know your thoughts and i hope you guys all happy wonderful day